A plan to ban big sodas and sugary drinks in New York City is drawing attention around the country and drawing opinions here in the Wabash Valley. News 10's Joe Ostrowski takes a look at the New York plan and tells us what soda fans here in the Valley think of the proposal. Visit a gas station on a hot summer day and you'll see customers with cup after cup of cola. For many, it's a way to ease their parched palate. But those big drinks are coming under fire. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg has proposed a ban on sodas bigger than 16 ounces. The hope is to reduce rates of obesity and diabetes, particularly among children and particularly in poor neighborhoods. This is becoming a, a, a devastating uh, public health issue. Uh, it's an epidemic. There are exceptions to the proposal. It doesn't affect fruit juice or diet sodas, and it doesn't include grocery stores or convenient marts. Still, similar health-related proposals that began in New York have spread to other cities and states, and that doesn't sit well with some soda drinkers here at home. If you're old enough to buy a pop or you got money from somebody to buy a pop, or you, you, you get what you want. I wouldn't want to be told what pop I could drink and what I couldn't. I would think that it would be up to me. Some wonder what rules could come next. I don't think the government ought to be involved in that whatsoever. It's like, uh, say it's cigarettes first, now it's this. Pretty soon they're going to say, well, you're too heavy, you shouldn't have a candy bar. You know, the government has no place in it. Still, similar proposals could continue to pop up around these pop fountains. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Drink up. Now, we would like to know what you think about regulations on soft drinks. I think we already know what you think about the hot weather. You can vote, by the way, on this uh, soft drink issue at WTHITV.com.